Hey, people. So I, I want to talk about this topic because um, I have now talked to several people who have seen my rape play video that I did two years ago. And I am still getting messages from people who are rape survivors, who are into kink, and got something out of that video. I want to talk about this idea. It's a really simple idea. That whatever has happened in your life, whether you had a completely normal childhood, completely normal upbringing, or you had a messed up upbringing, None of that really influences you to be involved in kink. I, I, because the thing about it is, is that there are hundreds of thousands of people who had messed up childhoods, had had have been raped as um, as teenagers and adults, and have nothing to do with kink whatsoever they go on to have a quote unquote normal life and then there are tons and tons and tons of people who had nothing bad happen to them and do get into this into this lifestyle there there is no one way or another to look at it one of the things I've never talked about, or if I have talked about it, it's been not in a video like this, is one time when I was a child, when I was five years old, I was molested. I never talk about it. It's not a factor in my life. I know it's something that happened. I know it's something that is real. I have confronted my parents about it. They don't know anything about it. I just think it's really funny that after it happened, within a couple months, we moved to California. But it could have been coincidence or it could have been related. All I know is what happened happened. And it was not uh, by either of my parents or any of my family. It was by a neighborhood kid who took advantage, uh, a neighborhood uh, a neighborhood boy who was a teenager who took advantage of a five-year-old child who didn't know any better. It's really hard for me to talk about. I am really choking myself up just even thinking about it. This is why I don't talk about it. I am also a survivor of domestic violence. And I've done a few videos on that. And that's really super hard to talk about. But I seriously don't think that either of those had any influence on me being kinky. I've always, as... As soon as I became a teenager, I was highly sexual. I'm still highly sexual today. I don't even think twice about what happened to me in the past. The domestic violence that I went through happened long after I had come out as kinky. The other part is something that I know existed it's there. I just don't talk about it. I just know that it's something that it will be in, in my life and in my head for a long period of time. But I can't sit here and tell you that that's what brought me into this. Because honestly, I never even, it was never a factor when I became a teenager. 
it was something that honestly I didn't even remember until I was much older. And some things came up in my life. Um, some Specifically some pictures from uh, my family of the bedroom that I had that sparked that memory. And then again, remember, I was a five-year-old child. I can barely remember anything from that time period. And it when it hit me, it hit me like a ton of bricks. But the thing was, I was already kinky by that point. I was already deep into the lifestyle. And I don't talk about it because of all of the bad memories and feelings and emotions it brings up. I mean, right now I am <laughs> I am literally choking back my whatever emotions are going on right now just to be able to have this conversation. I get people talking to me all the time. Almost on a daily basis, I get somebody sending me a message thanking me. Sometimes they're little quick thank yous. Sometimes they're much longer thank yous. And sometimes I get messages that are pages long. Detailing parts of their lives that I don't think they would even feel comfortable talking to with a you know to a stranger let alone friends and family but yet they feel that they can confide in me i have story after story from people about things that have gone on in their lives and how one video here or one video there help them get past whatever it is that they've got going on and be okay with who they are. At the end of the day, regardless of what happened in my life, I'm still me. Those toys on the wall behind me, I love those things. I love playing with those things. I love playing with the people that I play with. I don't think twice about grabbing that flogger and playing with someone. I know these things that have existed in my life. And they're hard. And I am really right now still choking back a ton of emotion. And probably the second I click this off, I'm going to wind up losing it. But I'll tell you, if you're watching this and you've had something happen in your life and you are kinky, don't think it's because of those bad things that happened. That's why you're doing this. We all do this for different reasons. Are there people who do this because of things that happen in their life? Yeah. Are there a lot more people that do this simply because... It's something that's enjoyable. Yeah. You find something with this. It fulfills a part of you. Being kinky. Being into BDSM. Being a master. Being a daddy. Being a dom. It's home for me. And I could probably have somebody psychoanalyze me until the cows come home. But the reality is, is none of that is going to change who I am. I've tried dealing with all of this. It's still hard. It will always be hard. But when I'm playing, I don't think about it. I just do it. I just enjoy it. I'm me. And that's what you should be too. Is you. Forget what people say. Find things in your life that make you happy. And hold on to them. And know you're not alone. 
We all have fucked up lives in one way or the other. Mine, 99.99% of my life has been great. It's just that very small percentage that's fucked up. And no, I don't think I'll ever get past it. But I also don't talk about it either. I know it's there. And that's it. So. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Anybody who wants to talk to me, you know how to get a hold of me. There'll be ways you can get a hold of me all over the place. That's it for now. Be well and safe.